and welcome. This is Sandra Hart of Life Over 60 with Sandra. Are you feeling a little bit of fall in your blood? Well, I know down here in Florida, it's kind of hard to get into the change of seasons, but because I'm a northerner, I still have that lust when September and October rolls around to kind of get my fall mojo on. I really love where I live, but coming from the north, how I miss the change of seasons, the smell of fall in the air, the brilliant colors of the leaves turning, and the crisp sound of the dry leaves beneath my feet. There's something about fall and the change of seasons that makes life worthwhile. down here in South Beach, which is a very tropical climate, except for maybe a couple of weeks, the end of December or January. It's very hot here. We don't have deciduous trees that are, drop their beautiful leaves. But every fall, I really try to get into the wonderful fall season with just a little bit of decor in my house. Now, as you know, if you follow me, I have a, have downsized and I have a very small space here compared to a bigger home or a bigger house that I used to have. But I recently went to Ross and that's my go-to place. We used to have a Michaels here, but they went out of business during COVID, unfortunately. So I ran to Michaels, I mean, I ran to Ross and um, I picked up a few things to try to get a little bit of fall feeling into my house. The first thing I did is was I picked this up and it was only $9, I believe, $9.99. And look, it's all filled with potpourri and I have a spray potpourri that I can freshen it up during the fall season, but it has everything in here that I needed to fill all of my containers or add to my containers. I also got, which I really thought was so pretty, this beautiful pumpkin. Is that pretty? And I can use this every single year and put it away. I also have very little storage space here, but I absolutely love this pumpkin. I thought it was so, so beautiful. And as a companion, I bought a container full of little baby pumpkins. And they're paper mache, I think, probably. But all, all colors, uh, turquoise and beautiful colors that kind of remind me of the sea and a deep green, which reminds me of up north. So I bought these. And also, for every fall decor, we have to have candles, don't we? So this is a pumpkin spice candle. I bought two of them. I bought a Yankee candle and I bought this one. Very pretty and I love the smell. Oh, I love the smell. Pumpkin always reminds me of Thanksgiving and fall. And also for my kitchen, my itty bitty kitchen, I wanted to have a little bit of fall decor there. So I am using a pumpkin like this to put on the counter. And also these beautiful, colorful towels. And this has the same color in the pumpkin. So I will put these on the counter, hang them on the stove. I have a stove handle, so I'll hang them over the handle. And it will give just a little bit of festivity to my kitchen. It's rather hard here because my space is very small and the only place I really can decorate is downstairs where I have a living dining room kitchen area. I have to spread what decor I have that reminds me of fall throughout the house and I do also happen to have a collection of natural things that I've brought from the beach, uh, a lot of palm trees, dried fronds, 
and I have tried to fill my house with things that I don't have to water. I brought nature inside to my house from outside and that is because until about five years ago this was only a summer or winter place for us and when I would leave I couldn't have any plants because they would die. The plants outside I had that are cactus they don't need watered but plants that I have to water and leave indoors I just couldn't have. So I brought the outside beachy things into my house. Some of the uh, twigs with dried coral on them that I found on the beach. So this is my fall decor that is a combination of natural beachy things that I picked off the beach and also things that remind me of fall that I got at Ross this year. I used to store my wreaths on my wall, but now I have found a storage space for them. So every season I try to change the wreath on the front door. And every season I try to bring some change here in this tropical area. I do miss fall so much, but even in my small space, I can bring little touches along with my salt lamps that make me feel like I am living in an area where the, cha the seasons change. Eucalyptus wreaths can be there all year long. The potpourri I put in various containers that I have that brighten up and make me feel like fall. This is part of a palm blossom that I found in the street. In my kitchen, although it's small, I just try to add touches of the various seasons. And here is my copper candy tub that is antique full of my shells, but I add pine cones and pumpkins during the fall season, along with candles. Just tiny little touches to make it feel like I live in a climate where the seasons do change. Thank you so much for watching my fall decor video. It was just a small video, but I have a small house, so I don't have a, a lot of space that I can clutter up with a lot of things. So I hope if you live in a small apartment or if you live in a small space, this may have given you an idea of how maybe you can bring a little bit of the wonderful fall atmosphere into your home. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and please do something really wonderful for yourself today. Get out there and walk in the crisp fall air if you are up north, and be kind to whomever crosses your path, because you never know one small gesture of kindness how that may save and change someone's world. Take care, and let's all share the love, and I will see you in my next video.